Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And late last night, somebody emailed me and asked me how to make a crescent shape. I think they're making a crescent moon in a scene or something. There's at least two or three ways to do this. So I just drew a eclipse or a circle. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate of it. Then I'm going to hold down my control button and move it down. Because see, I cannot move it left or right. So it's going to be more perfectly. So going to the couple of ways you can do this. One, you could in, uh, lasso them all. And you could go back minus front. And there's your shape. You could front minus back, same shape. It's just all it's doing is taking away the other deal, the other side. But what I would normally do if I was going to do this, I would use the Smart Fill tool and just fill it in. And then you've got that shape and you can do anything you want with it. You can take away the, the fill, add an outline if you want to cut it out and, you know, from there, you could rotate it to, you know, the more to look like a moon, and uh, and you can always you can always fill it in, and if you don't want to cut, don't forget to take that hairline off. So there's how to make a crescent shape. Hope that helped her a little bit, and thank you for watching.